for a senior citizen. Uh, senior officer, I mean. Well, an expectant father has to keep in shape, bub. Uh, hey, what if you and Claudia have a girl? Well, I figure eventually somebody's got to change their sexual discrimination in pro football. <laughs> oh, look at this, Claudia. Is that what you're Look, look. Yeah, it does. Oh, look. Oh, look at this. It's, it's musical. musical. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Claudia, it wasn't like you think it was. You were down at that place drinking with him all afternoon, and you know it. Clumsy termite you got here. Yeah, I'm afraid it's not. Some new neighbor sounds like he's falling off the wagon again. <laughs> all right, so it's apartment living. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, everybody up against the wall. This is a police raid. Hey, what are you doing here? I live here. <laughs> Just stopped by to check the shower loop. Mm. 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 How are we doing? Oh, boy, did we collect. Where the football? No, Charlie! I'm going to blow his dumb ball head off. That's that right. Charlie and his wife? All day. Oh, boy. Put that gun away. You'll hurt someone. The girls stay here. No, Charlie, stop. Don't lie to you. Charlie, don't do it. Charlie, come back here. Leave it alone, Charlie. Don't do it. Oh, no. No, he's all right. He's just a little drunk. You'll be all right. Please leave him alone. Charlie, don't leave him alone. Okay, hold it, Charlie. That's far enough, Mike. Stay right where you are. Get back. Come on now, Charlie. Toss that thing on the ground. There's too many people around here. You don't want to hurt anybody. No way. Now, you stay out of this, Mike. Okay, Charlie, that's mine. Come on, let's have yours. No. Now, look, this between me and Vera. You stay out of this. Oh, why, Charlie, why? You don't want to do this to Vera. You got no reason. Give me the gun. All right, Mike, that's fine. I've got to stand right where you are. Mister, I'm going to count to 10, and that rifle better be on the ground by the time I finish, or you're going to be breathing out the back of your neck. And I'm counting to 10 by fives. Five, 10. No, 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 no. Go, I know you're this new breed of cop and all, but let me give you some advice. A dude pointing the gun has made a commitment to kill. Don't ever try to disarm him with words, unless you've made a commitment to die. about showboating, but arranging a heroic confrontation so that it takes place in front of your own wife, that's a bit much, Danko. Definitely bad form, no doubt about it. Oh, boy, here it comes. Hey, Easy, how come you stopped that drunk from wasting him anyway, huh? Well, to tell you the truth, I just don't have to fill out all those forms. <laughs> At least the man's being honest. Hey, aren't you boys being a mite rough on my partner there? He just goofed up. Goofed up? That ain't what they call it at the academy. Yeah, you know, Easy, you ought to get one of those instructing jobs at the academy. Well, I tell you, Willie, one rookie at a time is about all I can handle. I mean, that's not part of your 20 year plan. That's right. And what plan's that? That's my 20 year plan, Willie. I'm going to retire after 20 years, live off the fat of the land, and not a rookie within miles. No, sir. Two more years, I'll be raising horses, prime stock, teaching my baby boy how to ride them. And that's called heaven, friends. Sheer heaven. 
You boys hang loose. Hey, hold up easy. I'll walk you out. Hey, look, man, about this afternoon, I, I don't want to get corny, but thanks anyway, huh? You're gonna get corny? Forget it. No, I'm gonna remember it. I owe you one. It's here it's better to give than to receive. Isn't that what the book says? Okay, I got some time to give tomorrow. You need some help on your place? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> well, sure, I know he's using an extra hand. Okay, you're on. Hey, you better come early, though. Claudia and me got a date tomorrow at City Hall. What's that for? I thought I told you. The city's got a notion about cutting a freeway off ramp right straight through our property. Are you kidding? No, oh, we're protesting it. They're talking about buying us out and everything. Well, what a gray. Well, I think when they hear me out tomorrow, they'll just tell their engineers they can take their off ramp and stick it someplace else. Why, it's a drag. You got a good lawyer? That's not a trial, it's just a hearing. Hey, listen, why don't you bring Jill and uh, we'll have some breakfast. Beautiful. Okay. She'll make those pancakes you've been bragging about. Yeah. Excuse me, I must have the wrong apartment. Oh. Hey. I think I'll stick around. What's going on? That's a little midnight supper for two. It's an idea I picked up from Claudia. See, no matter what shift he's on, no matter what time he gets home, there are always two things waiting for him. Hot dinner and a loving wife. Or vice versa. OK, I can mm. dig it. <laughs> This wife happens to be a registered nurse who has to put in a full shift of her own. But she'll coincide with yours from now on whenever it's possible. It's all arranged with my supervisor. You have the sight. Hold me for a minute, Mike. I love you very much. Hey. Hmm? Tell me something. Does any of this have to do with what happened this afternoon? Well, you know that saying, today's the first day of the rest of your life. Well, I guess for a cop, it could also be the last day, too. And I don't ever want to lose you. So that's the reason for the candlelight dinner, and that's why I wanted you to hold me. And that's why I'm going to start crying in about two seconds if you don't open it, don't cry. That's a strange smell. Mm, that's what we call fresh air. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Hey, Jill, you think old city boy here can handle a shovel? I think he might be able to. He used to get circus tickets tending the elephants. Funny, funny. <laughs> she thinks she's a comedian, right? Come on, give me a hand. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> How are you? Oh, you're terrific. Good. Cook a breakfast for me. You think I was an invalid in my own home? Oh, Claudia, come on. When you're going to have a baby, it's the only time you don't have to do a thing. You'll still be productive. But I feel fine. Oh, you do. You and Easy have waited for this baby for 13 years, and it's important that you preserve your strength. Oh, you sound just like Easy. I have to wait till he goes to work before I can do my own work. Uh, he's right. Well, I must say, it doesn't seem much like work after waiting all this time. You still want a boy? He'll take what he gets and like it, as long as it's a baby. <laughs> What's for breakfast? I'm hungry. I'll show you. I found a new thing. How's he date with Shirley last night? Yeah, she turned out to be a football freak. All she wanted to do was talk about football. How'd it go with Brenda? <laughs> oh, don't tell me, don't tell me. You came all the way downtown to hear a brilliant testimony in a drunk driving case. No, we won't tell you. You won't. OK, I give up. So what are you doing here? We're fighting City Hall. Hey, you should have told me. I got friends who would come down here and help you out just to keep in practice. Come on, easy. We don't want to be late. No, we got to go. See you later. OK. Bye-bye. Well, I hope you guys get off with a clean sentence. Hey, we're the arresting officers, not the defendants. 
know what they say. Justice is blind. Justice is blind. Justice is blind. I'm going to write that down, Danko. Justice is blind. Tell me. Uh, I was just remembering those statistics about married men living longer than bachelors. So do sea turtles. But I like it better out of the shelf. In cases of eminent domain, there are very few options under the law. There are any number of reasons why a city's need to condemn property can be challenged. One of them is inadequate notice to the public. However, in this case, notice was given. Yeah, well, that's when I sent you the letter. Yes, Mr. Wyatt, I have the letter right here. That's why you were invited to come down here this morning and talk to us because of your letter. However, eloquence and facts aren't the same thing. Now, are they? Well, the fact is, the man loves his home. Everybody loves their home. What my colleague is trying to say, Mr. Wyatt, is that we had hopes that you could come down here and give us some geological or ecological reason why the construction shouldn't proceed as planned. Geological? <laughs> no, look, I mean... Don't you see, this place has been in my family's... Well, I, for one, don't know how eloquent your letter was, Mr. Wyatt, but apparently it wasn't eloquent enough to change the facts in which the engineers based their decision. Well, now, wait just a minute. I mean, just... <laughs> like, I'm not trying to cause trouble or anything like that, but, I mean, there must be a way that the city Mr. can... Mr. Wyatt, I'm, I'm awfully sorry. We really are. But our time is valuable. We're just well, trying... my home is valuable, too. Mr. Wyatt, I am losing patience. You can't just sit there and tell me that the city can take my house. No one is going to take your house, Mr. Wyatt. The city will buy it at fair market value. Well, there's only one thing, Bub. I don't want to sell. I'm sorry, Mr. Wyatt. The order of the council stands. You will have 30 days in which to vacate your home. We want to thank you for letting us hear your views. Let's proceed now to the next item on the agenda. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're not finished here. Please. No, honey, they're talking about tearing down our house. Well, Mr. Wyatt, you will either restrain yourself or you will be removed from these chambers. Look, mister, I'm not going anywhere till I've had my say. Now, wait. Now, Coonity. You're not going to do anything inside a jail cell. Come on, Wilson. Come on. Oh, that's it, huh? Come on, we'll see a lawyer about it. Mr. sense. Easy went into that courtroom without a care in the world. Yeah, he talked like it was all cut and dry. Cut, dried, and stacked. <sighs> Guy fills himself a dream and they bulldoze it down for a freeway. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around lately. Dr. Marsden, Dr. Marsden, please report to surgery immediately. Claudia's okay. She's asleep, but she's okay. He said it would have been a boy.
You want some time off? You got it. You want to go out and get drunk? I'll go with you. What do you want, Easy? Name it. What I want, you can't deliver, Lieutenant. Go with him. Stay with him. It's easy. I told him he wouldn't be awake till morning. Hey, Claudia, don't worry about him. He's a big boy. A big, overgrown boy. I killed his dream and my own. Hey, Claudia, now that was an accident. Things went wrong. Mm. Don't you go wrong with him. Picture and four glasses. Coming up. Hey. You mind if we sit down? You're my guest. I've had better days, Willie. Look, easy. I... I don't know what to say. I guess all you can do is try to pick up the pieces and go from there. Go where, Mike? That ranch... was my dad's. I've never known another home. Neither is Claudia, for that matter. What's the point of just finding another place so they can come along and tear it down in the name of progress? You want to see a lawyer about an appeal? There's no appeal in cases of eminent domain. The city says I want it. They got it. Yeah, I'll get you another drink. I'll do this. Seventeen years, I got in working for this city. I got a punctured eardrum pulling a kid out of the lake. I broke an arm, chasing a drunk off an on-ramp. When I go to a party, some guy finds out I'm a cop. He says, where are you when I need you? And why do you beat up kids? And why are all cops on the take? Seventeen years of that. Matt, I tell you something. I'm sorry I ever joined up. I mean, I'm sorry that I can't afford to quit because that's what I want to do is quit. And that's what you ought to do. Easy, if anyone's got a right to talk about a raw deal, I guess you do. Look, I, why don't you just take time off and uh, get yourself together? Yeah, just... I don't know, take the money that the city's offering and, and try and find a new place. Fair market value is better than nothing. Tell me something, Willie. What's fair market value for a son?
You had the root beer, right? Yeah. Well, what do you want on your hot dog? Everything? Yeah, fine. Yeah, two with everything on them. How you doing on that sergeant exam? A lot of study into that? I wouldn't know. Huh? I'm not taking the exam. Oh, man, what kind of talk is that? You've been waiting a long time to I take said that. I'm not taking the exam. Is that all right with you? Let's have your license. I'm sorry, officer. I I didn't see that sign or that guy until it was too late. You didn't see your speedometer either. I made you 55 in a 25 mile an hour zone. Now let's have your license. I'm not gonna tell you again. What a machine you got yourself here, son. If you're gonna drive it, you better learn how to handle it. <laughs> yes, sir. I got a little fat in that last corner. A little fat. Even if you hadn't seen that stop sign, you know better than overshoot an intersection like that. You could have killed that guy. Is this your current address? Yes, sir, it is. Look, give me a break, will you? This will mean my license, and I need it for after-school deliveries. You got any proof of that job? Yes, sir. Call Mr. Wexley at my store. He'll verify that I make deliveries every afternoon. All right, you want to sign this? If you don't sign it, I have to haul you in. Maybe what they say about you guys is true. Come on, man, let's split the uh, buses for breathing. Thank you, officer. Oink, oink. Punk. Easy, you just Call it. Now get moving, both of you. Look, easy. I know the kid was wrong, but that's no Listen, reason I got 17 years seniority, and I don't need lectures from rookies. You got that? Yeah, I got it. And then we started to walk off, and the kid said something to Easy. I don't know what he said. It would have been his career right down the drain if he'd hit that kid. And he would have hit him, too. Doesn't sound like Easy. I shouldn't have put him up on such a pedestal. It's just I thought he had it all together. Well, Mike, sometimes hero worship's best conducted at a distance. Yeah, well, he'll get it together. Well, you don't think so? Well, it's just that I remember one time when I was in school, we put on this funny kind of variety show. And I wasn't in it, but I was in charge of the lights backstage. So one afternoon when I came in for a rehearsal, there was this spider who built a web in the light board, and I had to tear it down. And he built it up again, and I had to tear it down again, and he built it again, and I tore it down again. It went on and on like that. Then, uh, after a long time, I, I noticed that the web wasn't even and proportioned anymore. You know, it was kind of twisted and off balance. And by the time we finally did the show, it wasn't even like a web at all. It was a few strands here and a little ball there. And Well, I don't know that he ever built a proper web again, Mike. What are you trying to say, that I should report him? He's a good cop, Jill. He's the best cop in the precinct. 
What would Easy have done a week ago if you'd almost hit somebody? I don't know. I can't turn him in. Jilly saved my life. So he saved your life. As his partner, you were still responsible to let me know if he got out of line. Aren't you overreacting, Lieutenant? Easy got rough with a couple of teenagers, and their parents complained. Look, I know that's important, he but if He also got rough with a member of the planning commission. When was this? This morning. He busted into the commissioner's office, and he ordered him to reroute the freeway. You know who the planning commissioner called? He called the police commissioner. You know who the police commissioner called? Okay, I get the message. No, you just get part of the message. The rest is that I hold you partially responsible because you and your infinite wisdom did not trust me. Look, he's my friend. He's my partner. He was your partner. Effective immediately, you're transferred to traffic control. You're dismissed. What about Easy? What happens to him? He is on desk duty until I say otherwise, which means until I am satisfied he's gotten his head on straight. That's going to go down hard with Easy. And he's had enough hard things lately. Emotional cops do not belong on the street, Danko, and there are those who feel they do not belong on the force. Now get out of here. Shop over in Drummond Road. Kid tried to hock this. The owner started asking questions. The kid took off. He figures his hat to be stolen. Well, we'll see soon enough. What's the serial number? Uh, 605786. Called you home yet? Yeah, yesterday. Is she feeling all right? Fine. Hey, Easy, uh, don't you get hoarse talking all the time? Well, I tell you, if I was to start talking, I'd probably just bore you to death, telling you about all the exciting things happening on the job here. You know, checking serial numbers, keeping records straight. Yeah, Mike's the same way. He's really turned on about directing traffic out in the boondocks. You two ought to get together, compare notes. Stolen from LaSalle's appliances last week. Congratulations, man. You've done it again. Well, we'll just put another notch in our crime fighter badge. Best to you and Claudia, easy. Hey, uh, where did you say they got Mike located? Out by the amusement park. Why? That only mowed him up for another month. Yeah, Mike says it's not the busiest intersection in town. Welcome to the club. this house. I'm very grateful for the happiness it's brought us. But what's to prevent us from being happy in some other house? But you love this house. I love whatever it takes to put things back the way they were. I want us to be happy. Why can't we pretend we've just gotten married and we're starting out all over again? Those were good times, weren't they? A long time ago. I remember you used to say, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. Let's get started again.
Where do we start? Well, you patch things up with Mike. And let's find a realtor so we can make some moving plans. Okay. Enough exercise out there dodging that traffic? <laughs> yeah, about as much as you dodging that desk, I guess. Thank you very much. How you been? Oh, I can't kick. What about you? Okay. Listen, I haven't been acting myself lately. Hope there are no hard feelings, huh? Ah, oh, it's just good to see you. Same here. You off tomorrow? Yeah. Claudia and I are gonna go look for a new place. You and Jill wanna tag along? Sure. What time? Well, why don't you come around 9 o'clock and have some breakfast, okay? That sounds good to me. Uh, say, Mike. I thought I'd pick my shot, ask Riker about us being partners again. Is that all right with you? Yeah, that's okay with me, partner. Okay. Hang loose. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's happening up there? Coming. We got to go. I ain't gonna be late at the real. Look for. I don't know. Something looks like a Jillian sells for two bits. Uh, easy. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. Someone do for me? You know, one of you, Mr. Wyatt? Yeah, I am. Oh, Jack Barnes. Barnes Construction Company. My firm is building the road that's going through here. When are you moving out? Well, we haven't picked a time yet. Well, the sooner the better, of course. I, mean, I have to clear this house out so we can get our heavy machinery through. You're also clearing out my flower bed. You mind watching where you're stepping? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What's the difference, ma'am? These are going to have to go, too. Look, Mr. Barnes, uh, this property still belongs to us. Now, if you want to check things, you just play by our rules, OK? Well, uh, OK, Clem. Hey, the name's not Clem, and I think you best be going. Oh, well, I'm not finished here. Yeah, you're finished. I don't get your nose out of joint. I'm just doing a job. Yeah, well, you can do your job after we've moved. Don't huh? get nasty, Mr. Wyatt. Now, you Wyatt. off my lander. I'm going to have to throw you off. Uh, Mr. Wyatt, would you mind just stop trying to be a big man just to impress these two broads here? Too late. Too late. I'm getting the car. You split. You heard me. I said split. Now move it. I've got some special plans for you, Clem. We'll be in touch. Yeah, that's him. I want to file a complaint. Assault and battery. What about it, Easy? I hit him. If he hadn't, I would have. I was just doing my job. That's a crock. All right, thank you. I'll handle this. Mr. Barnes, what if Officer Wyatt apologizes? Will that square things? Oh, you boys in blue, you really stick together, don't you? I get it. No, you don't get it. Seems to me Officer Wyatt was provoked. Look, Mac, I came in to file a complaint. Suddenly, I'm the heavy... You know what no happens way. to him if you file a complaint? That's not my concern. Look, Mr. Mike, Barnes... Don't beg me. Do I sign it or not? Do you insist? That's right, Mac, I insist. All right, Danko, you can go. <clears throat> you have the right to remain silent. 
You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Anything you say can and will be used against you. I was afraid of something like this. What happens now? He'll be arraigned in the morning and then released on his own recognizance. Can I see him? He doesn't want you to see him, Claudia, not while he's in jail. How he must hurt now. Look, why don't you grab a toothbrush and come on over to our place? Easy suggested it. Come on. Tell you what, man, let's go by, get the girls, and have some breakfast, and then grab your stuff at the station later. No, just drop me off at the station. Collie is pretty anxious to see you, man. Yeah, well, tell her I, I'll be by later. I just gotta pick up my truck, take care of some things. I think she's made an appointment with the realtor. Well, she can cancel it. You mean postpone it? I mean cancel it. Oh, look, Look, I, I'm suspended. Now, by the time my trial is over, I'll be off the force. You don't find new farms with unemployment insurance. Gee, you want to drive me over to the station to know you? I'm sure, it's your ball game. Well, let's go. I'm sorry I had to be the one to book you. I really felt bad about that, you know? It's a booking officer's job, Gomez. I know that. <laughs> don't sweat it. Thanks, Easy. Listen, I gotta take these wants upstairs. Stick around, I'll buy you a cup of coffee. <laughs> this gate. Have the people moved out? I didn't say take down the house. I said take down the gate. Now, I've got a completion date on this job, and I've got to get my heavy equipment through. Now, get on it. Now get out of here. Both of you. Well, this time you're really in trouble, Clem. in my mail slot. He's got himself convicted and kicked off the force even before his trial begins. Any of you talked to him today? Not since I dropped him off here this morning. He was supposed to pick up Claudia at our place and he never showed. All right, get ready for roll call. You mean that's it? You're going to accept his resignation just like that? Would you like to tell me what alternative I have? You could try and talk him out of it. Yeah, you're just going to let him walk off? I can't talk him out of something until I find him, and I can't find him until I finish roll call. So would you mind getting in there now?
Mom? It's easy, Jill. Is Claudia there? Yeah, she's here. She's worried today. Easy, so... where are you? I'm home. But you were supposed to pick me up hours ago. Yeah, well, I had some uh, thinking I had to do, honey. Listen, I want you to stay put for a while, okay? Why? Because I said so. Darling, is everything all right? Everything's fine. I just want you to stay put, okay? Easy. I love you, honey. I just got something on Easy Wyatt. What? What is it? Well, I don't think you're going to like it. Ludlow Control, Ludlow Control to the following division units. Code 3, repeat, Code 3. Switch to TAC 2 and keep channel clear. The following units to proceed north at maximum on Route 4. Ludlow 7, repeat, Ludlow 7. Ludlow 2 Niner, Ludlow 2 Niner, your ETA 2 and 1 half minutes to intersection. Ludlow 2 Niner, Code 3 to join Ludlow units at intersection Belvedere and Route 4. Repeat, code three to Ludlow 2-Niner. Join other Ludlow units at intersection Belvedere and Route 4 to proceed north on Route 4. Join other Ludlow units. Attention, following units. From present position, proceed east to join other Ludlow units on a code three, Ludlow 1-7. Ludlow 1-7. Maybe he's not in there. Yeah, he should be so lucky. Easy, if you are in there, come on out now. I'm staying put, Eddie. Why? That's stupid. Come on out, let's talk. I've done all my talking. He's got a rifle, I can see it. They're gonna have to blast him out of there. Get that man out of there. Come on, get out of here. Get back there and stay. Riker said he took a gas mask, too, huh? Yeah, Easy hasn't left us any pleasant options. Now let's see what happens. Oh, this is crazy, Wyatt. Come out of that house. That's an order. I don't take orders anymore, Lieutenant. Didn't you read my resignation? Why, Easy? Why? Why not, Eddie? How much pushing can a guy take? Easy. I'm coming in. Now you're being stupid. You won't make it to the porch. Stay where you are, Eddie.
you do it, Eddie. out easy it's a round trip because sooner or later they'll come in after you mike i gotta i gotta make a stand someplace i mean they stripped me of every dream i ever had my son my home my job everything not everything you're still alive <laughs> now they're working on that well i'm not gonna let you do it man get out of here i'm gonna do what i want what you want you haven't even considered what anybody else might want well if you want to bail out on claudia man that's your business but I'm not going to let you bail out on me and Jill. This has got nothing to do with you and Jill. Well, you think not? Well, think again, bub. I had you so built up in my head there wasn't anything you could do wrong. I guess I thought you and Claudia were just about the greatest people I'd ever met. Well, what do I say to Jill tonight? What do I tell her when we leave the morgue where you're laid out like frozen salami? Man, you shouldn't have counted on me so much. Well, you're a little late. We did count. Now Jill's going to want to know if this is what being a policeman does to a guy. Well, what do I tell her, Easy? What do I say? Mike, don't do that. I'm not going to make it that simple for you, man. You hand me that gun or shoot me. It's Fielder's choice, Easy. Never to try to talk a dude out of a loaded gun. What do you expect from a rookie? Sharp as I thought. Well, a man who has to see a probation officer once a week and a psychiatrist twice a week and, and owes for a bulldozer engine, I can hardly call him free. Well, especially if he's married to you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Oh, get it, get it. <laughs> Buddy. Hey, just in time. Hey. Just in time. Yes, got all the stuff there, but not enough glasses. Hold a few more chairs, we'll have the party. Okay. Well, you got to do something about those stairs. Got to do something about those stairs. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Hey, Will. Hey, Big Will. Of course you know where she is. Would you like to sit? Hi. Hi. Would you like to sit? All right. Hey, Wally. Listen, the last time I was in here, I broke a glass. What do I owe you? Oh, Mike paid for it easy. You owe him. I sure do, bub. 